Hi, Paul here from Trek It, and we have escaped the shop uh, to come up to the woods to talk to you today about some Osprey packs. And this one in particular, this is the Osprey Men's Stratos 34. Okay, the Stratos uh, range is specifically designed for men, but it will suit just about anybody as long as the back length is right. There is the specific ladies version, which is called the Cirrus. Harry will put a link up here for anybody who wants to go and have a look at those. So let's concentrate on the Stratos 34. So what is it? Well, it's a 34 litre pack. It's tough, it's durable, it's designed to cope with, you know, the, the, the rough and tough and tumble of everyday hill walking, some light mountaineering, some daily travel, a bit of air travel, carry on, that kind of thing. So it's a really versatile pack that is built around uh, a suspended trampoline air mesh system on the back. So it's all about ventilated comfort. We have been filming 48 and 65 litre bags as well. And I was surprised how much actually we could get in here compared to the other bag. So it's, it's a good amount of space in it. It'll carry your everyday essentials. Right, so what is the Osprey Stratos 34 made of? Uh, Osprey have used nylon throughout the pack. They've used two different weights just to give you that, uh, to balance off kind of durability and keeping the weight to a sensible level. Nylon's a nice tough fabric. It withstand years and years of abuse. So it's a good material to use for this kind of pack. So you've got a 210 and a 420D, that's denier nylon. So 210 is a lighter weight that's used through the main body of the pack. In this one, it's the black color. And then the heavier duty material used across the bottom and extra wear areas, that's the heavier duty 420 denier there. So you get a good balance of weight and durability. All of the fabrics are treated with a durable water repellency. That's basically a chemical that's applied during the manufacturing process and that just helps to repel light rain and snow. Uh, now obviously the pack, well not obviously, but the pack isn't 100% waterproof. Don't rely on that for your waterproofing to keep the contents dry. Uh, Osprey have uh, kindly supplied us with a rain cover tucked away at the bottom here. Or uh, if you're Mr. Cautious like me, you'll pack your contents into dry bags. So not only does it guarantee that they are kept dry, but it also organises your pack and makes finding things a lot easier. Okay, so that's what the pack is made from. Okay, so let's talk about the back system on this Stratos 34. The back system of any pack is the fundamental and integral part of the pack. It's how it makes it sort of determines how the bag will feel when you're wearing it, and also getting the fit right is absolutely paramount. But we'll talk about that in a minute. So this is Osprey's Airspeed trampoline back system. Uh, airspeed basically refers to the fact that you've got an air gap between the contact mesh on the back here and the pack itself. So uh, I can stick my hand right the way through here. There you go, look at that. So you've got loads of room between the pack and your back, which means the air can circulate and move around and just helps to relieve that kind of sweaty cold back syndrome. It won't stop you from sweating, only quite unpleasant and nasty and uh, intricate surgery will do that. But it does mean that if you're wearing a good technical base layer and good technical clothing layers, it will reduce that uh, sort of horrible clammy feeling you get against your back and keep that air flowing around. So this is a slightly updated version and this borrows technology from their anti-gravity system which they use in some of their higher tech, spa, uh, higher tech spec packs. So you can see here you've got a seamless air mesh running right the way through from the back panel through into the hips. I'll just undo that, you can see it better. So that means there's less rubbing, less chafing, less areas to, to, to you know, cause you grief. So you get this flowing seamless back panel here. And then you get spacer mesh throughout the hip belt and the shoulders. So basically you've got a, a, a load bearing EVA foam with cutouts in it that allow that air and that moisture to, to travel through and keep you uh, cool and keep you well ventilated. It's all about comfort and ventilation, this whole back system. Okay, so uh, supporting the whole thing is a, is a light wire peripheral frame. So that basically transfers the weight down into the hips and around the whole pack so the weight is transferred down. It flexes and moves with you so as your shoulders and your hips move in different directions the pack flexes and moves with you but that weight is transferred right down into the hips and that also creates that curve you can see here. The shoulder harness like I said uses uh, EVA spacer mesh foam and you've also got this nice lightweight 
mesh on the inside, which is really comfortable, even if you've got it next to the skin, uh, and helps again with that sort of moisture management and breathability and ventilation. Now, the, the uh, Stratos comes in two different back lengths. There's a small, medium, and a medium, large. And it's really important that you get your fit right on any pack. Harry will put the actual measurements of the back lengths down in the bottom of the video here. Uh, but it's, like I said, it's really important. Uh, I'm six foot three, and the kind of the immediate assumption would be, oh, I'm going to need a medium large, I'm a big tall fella. But no, you'd be wrong. My back length is actually quite short. All my height is in my legs. So my, my back length, my torso length, is a measurement taken from the top of my hips, my iliac crest here, up to my C7 vertebrae, or kind of across the top of my shoulders. So that's actually quite short on me. That's about 47, 48 centimetres. So I would wear the smaller size pack in here because I've got a shortish back, great big long legs. So it's really important you get your measurements right. Uh, we'll put a link up here to a video that we've done, how to measure your back length, how to fit your rucksack properly. Please take some time to have a look at that. It's kind of like boot fitting, you know, you get it wrong, you're going to be uncomfortable. So make sure you get your back length sorted and get the pack fitting properly. Just to help you out as well, there's a little Velcro adjuster here on the shoulder harness. It actually comes completely off, like so. And you can move that up and down so you can fine tune the fit. So you can have that shorter or longer. You've got about 10 to 15 centimeters of adjustment to get that absolutely bang on, get the fit perfect. So that's it, that's your back system. Uh, okay, next section we'll have a look at the main features of the pack. Okay, so working through the main features, uh, your main access points, so how you get into the pack. This uses um, a kind of clamshell zip, which goes all the way around. Undo those two little compression straps at the side, unzip that all the way around. And it means you can literally open the whole front of the pack up, get into the contents without you know, having to dive into a draw cord at the top. So really quick and easy to get into, almost opens up like a duffel or a suitcase. And you can also get into the bottom of the pack through uh, a separate compartment here. So you've got a zip compartment. I've got some, got my over trousers in there, keep them separate. Uh, there's an internal divider and you can drop that down if you just want one compartment all the way through or you can hook it up to create that separate space at the bottom there. Okay, as soon as I've got the pack line down, we'll work our way up from the bottom and go through these features. So right down at the bottom here, you've got a little zip compartment and tucked away in there is your rain cover. So uh, if you're not going to use dry bags and you're going to go out in the rain, it's really advisable to make sure you've got this along with you. It is tethered into the bottom of this pocket via a little loop and a toggle. So if you don't want it, you can completely remove it, chuck it away, do whatever you want. You know it's going to be sunny. Uh, personally, I would always keep it in there just in case. It doesn't take up any room and is very light. And it's got a handy, uh, the logo on there, the big Osprey logo is also reflective. So if you're going to do a road section, you're going to be, uh, you know, you're going to be visible in twilight or darkness. Uh, and then you've got two little straps at the bottom here. Osprey call these uh, pack roll pack, pack roll straps. Um, really, they're there if you want to carry uh, like a foam roll mat or something like that, bulky objects. They extend right out and give you loads of room to put like a roll mat through here. Or if you don't want them, you can unthread them, remove them completely. Uh, alternatively, you can use them like a compression strap. So if, if this bottom compartment's not full and the pack is kind of half empty, you can squash it down a little bit and take out some of the volume of the pack. Okay, let's continue at the front. You've got another pocket here. You've got a great big zip pocket on the front, which has got a Velcro section, which allows you to open that right out. And I've got my waterproof jacket in there. Out it comes. So a great big pocket on the front. And it's a good place to keep your waterproof. It it's, it's means you can get at it nice and quickly and easily. You're not rummaging around inside the pack for it. And then particularly if it's, if it's wet, it's going to keep it safe, uh, keep it separate from the contents of the main part of compartment. Further up, just above the Osprey logo, there's a little zip pocket. And that's a perfect place to keep your phone. Just about big enough in there. Get my phone in there. And there's another zip pocket right at the top. This is a mesh lined pocket and I've got in here, I've got my first aid kit and my pack towel. And also this one contains a key clip, keep your car keys in. So you're getting stuff in and out of the pocket, you're not going to lose your car keys. Handy little pocket, good for snacks as well, things like that. Okay, let's have a look at the side of the pack. 
you've got these great big mesh side pockets which will take the obligatory trek it water bottle nice big pockets and then because mesh itself is quite quite fragile quite flimsy they put a, a nylon fabric over the outside just to you know stop that wear and tear but still allowing the stretch and the movement in the in the pocket now when you first get the pack you might notice that the compression strap on this side of the pack is over the outside of the mesh and then this one is underneath the mesh now osprey call this uh, inside out compression uh, and you can have it either way you want you simply unthread it and thread it over the top or underneath depending on your preference uh, if you've got it over the outside you're going to have to slacken that off to get a bottle in but it does mean that when you tighten it up it locks everything into place keeps the contents secure if it's on the inside you can compress the pack just by tightening the strap on the inside but it means you can get your bottle in and out without, uh, without having to undo the strap so it's entirely up to you um, whatever whatever suits your preference really and then you've got a couple more compression straps up at the top and they're held in by this captivated buckle on the top it's a really neat, neat little feature and that just pulls the load in towards the back locks the load into place keeps it nice and secure pull that in lock the load into place okay uh, and then another really nice feature is the uh, stow and go walking pole attachment it basically means that you can fold up your walking poles strap them onto your pack without having to stop or break stride even or asking pestering your mates to do it for you it's just a really clever system i'll pop the pack on in a bit and i'll show you how that works in practice but it's worth pointing out it's a great feature and then also uh, just back to the shoulder harness you've got an adjustable sternum strap here with a little whistle on there you go i'm going to be surrounded by dogs now probably uh, but there you go that's on there just in case you forget your emergency whistle and then down at the bottom on the hip belt you've got two really nice big pockets big bellows pockets that you can still access and still use even if you've got the hip belt done up nice and tight and it's worth mentioning the hip belt osprey do this really well it's a forward pull hip belt so you can lock it into place it's much easier to tighten the belt by pulling forwards than by pulling backwards it just makes locking the load into position a lot better uh, hydration wise you get an internal hydration sleeve and the uh, pipe comes out of the middle of the back here and you can run your, your hydration tube over either shoulder strap depending on your personal preference there's a couple of loops on either side and then you've got your top tensioner straps which just help to balance the load keep the pack pulled into your back if it's if it's got a lot of stuff in it and then finally down on the front here you've got your ice axe loop and your toggle attachment here so if you're using this in winter and you want to take a walking axe with you there you go there's your attachment point loop and toggle there so that's your full feature set uh, there's quite a lot going on with this little pack uh, and it's, it, it can pack a lot in it it's a really nice little pack okay so that's it that's the osprey stratos 34 a really nice little pack perfect for a full day out in the hills or even some minimalist backpacking if you've got some nice lightweight kit uh, it's all built around this superb airspeed ventilated back system uh, that gives you well as the name implies lots of air and lots of ventilation it's just super comfortable uh, it's built to last good strong fabrics and uh, it just gets on with the job it's just a great versatile day walking hill walking pack what more can I say uh, if you've got any comments or questions please pop them in the section below if you think I've missed anything or you think I've been rambling on too much please just let me know uh, it's always great to get feedback Harry will put a link up here so you can go and have a look at the full range of Stratos packs we, we stock a wide variety of sizes to suit all activities uh, and yeah it's always good to to be out here talking to you guys and uh, yeah yeah just give us your feedback in the section below It'd be good to hear from you I'm going to pop this on now and have a little stroll around the woods and uh, we'll see you again next time. Toodaloo.